Hello, and thanks for watching this video on Acumatica movement classes. So in Acumatica's inventory system, we have the ability to define movement classes. So in our demo company, we have average turnover rates, which account for 50% turnover, 100% turnover rates, which is our high, and low turnover, which is 25%. And based on that, we can also define the number of inventory counts per year. So the system allows you to either A, assign your inventory items to these movement classes manually, or you can run update movement. You can pick your warehouse. You could select the year. And based on the velocity of these items, Acumatica will project its new movement class, as you can see here. And you can notice here, if we assign these movement classes specifically to an item, we can fix it so that the movement class can't change when we run this process. But let's run it. And now Acumatica has updated it into the current movement class column. So if we take a look at an item, and we look at our warehouse details, we'll click on wholesale, you can see our movement class has been updated into the warehouse for this particular item. And again, we could override this, choose a different movement class, and actually fix it if we wanted to. So now if we go back over to our inventory physical types, we can create one based on movement class. So we'll call this movement, movement class cycle. We'll choose movement class as the generation method. We'll pick a warehouse, a wholesale. We'll go to our movement class. And here we have the ability to define a specific movement class for this inventory count. Or what we can do is go by frequency. There's a checkbox below this. So again, if we look at our movement classes, you can see the counts per year. So if we go here and we select by frequency, not picking a specific movement class, then Acumatica will go through and it'll use the counts per year and it'll maintain those counts against each item. So if we go by frequency and save this. Now if we start an inventory physical count, we'll prepare it right here. We'll pick our type ID, which is the new one we just created, movement. This reflects all of the items that are ready to count based on the movement class and its frequency. So now if we generate our physical inventory, this is our count sheet and we can go through here and start counting inventory one at a time. Now, one of the interesting features in our physical inventory is the ability to count items and then whatever we don't count for example not entered with the status after we're done finishing counting we can go into actions and set not entered to skipped and what this does when we complete our physical inventory it allows us to go back in when we prepare this physical count again. We'll select movement. We'll generate our physical inventory again. And you notice Acumatica starts now with number nine because we already counted eight other items. So this is really useful because there may be situations where you get to the end of the day and your warehouse folks can't finish but you still want to record the changes and get them in the books. So now we can continue, complete what we can, finish, and skip the ones we don't enter. 
So thanks so much for watching this Acumatica video on movement classes. If you have any other questions, at the end of our video is our contact information. Reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.